Hello world, we are uh, again, we're live on day four from the Beach City Media's um, digital nomad tour in Chiang Mai. Uh, we're at the main event today, which is the Nomad Summit. And I've got uh, Greg Elfrink here with me from uh, Empire Flippers. Hi, Greg. Guys. Hey, how's it going, Beach City viewers? So, uh, Greg, uh, we want to talk about Empire Flippers a little bit and about what's going on with, with, with you guys. But sure, also, yeah. first, about you. Where, where are you from? Uh, so I'm originally from Alaska. Uh, I'm the marketing manager for Empire Flippers. Two, about three years ago now, I right. was an oil field roughneck, though. So oh, right. oh, <laughs> in a little bit of a hard pivot in right, terms right, of my industry. Right, right. <laughs> well, that's interesting. So, so that, yeah, that's, that's you know, in, in starting out, that's fairly far away from this <laughs> yeah. location independent uh, freelancers or business owners uh. or, or, or even employees. How did that happen? Well, uh, so I used to work like, you know, 90 hours a week in the oil field. Absolutely. 90 hours. Yeah, seven days a week. You know, no days off unless you want to get fired. Right, right, right. <laughs> Your vacation is you get fired in the oil field. Right. And, uh, but yeah, I really wanted to escape like a lot of people here. And, uh, you know, I started reading marketing blogs, all this stuff. I, my story is actually like pretty drawn out. Uh, I, I wrote about it on the Empire Flippers blog, but uh, cool. but basically I, I applied for this job. Didn't think I was going to get it. The first interview, I thought I totally bombed. Uh, my my boss Justin, he's the owner of the company, he, he set me up for the second interview, and uh, I got the job surprisingly. Uh, nice. And uh, yeah, I sold everything I owned except for my house uh, back in Alaska and moved to Vietnam. And now nice. I've been location independent and working with Empire Flippers, nice. and it's been awesome, man. Uh, you know what we do is like. Uh, you know, similar to you in, in a sense, we right. like change people's lives with our right, products. Right, so, right, uh, right. yeah, I've been loving it. Right, right. And where is Empire Flippers based? Nowhere. Exactly. Right, <laughs> right. We're a location independent company. Yeah. Uh, you know, we kind of grew up in the digital nomad space. Right. Uh, so we really got our start with these people. So like yeah. if, you, if you're around digital nomads, almost all of them have heard of us at least. Right. Or at least like they've heard of the name. They might not right, know what right, we do, right. but they heard the name. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, so we're really yeah. big on the travel and location, life by design kind of culture. And yeah. that permeates throughout everything we do. Right, right. So um, what do you do? Uh, so yeah, what we do is uh, for all these digital nomads, location independent guys are out there building their businesses, whether it's an e-commerce store, SaaS, affiliate site, any, anything that's an online business. Right. And say they want to sell that business, they come to us and we will find them a buyer. So we're a business broker that specializes in online businesses specifically. Okay, okay. So uh, you, know, you can collect anywhere from 20 to 50x of your net monthly income upfront right. uh, when you come to us. And so there's a lot of reasons why right. people sell and a lot of reasons right. why people buy. That's, right. that's also why I said, you know, our product can change people's lives. Right. Like, you know, we just recently Recently, uh, one of my friends, he sold a $200,000 business. He got paid out in cryptocurrency because right. we're the only brokerage that does that. We're okay. okay out of crypto. Right. And just from the transaction time of us right. changing his money into the coin he wanted, right. he gained tens of thousands of dollars because, right. you know, right. All coins are going nuts right now, right. but uh, and on the flip side, people buy businesses like people in the nine to five grind. They want to do something like this. Right, right. They have the money. They can purchase these businesses that suddenly sets them free. Right. So it's a right, uh, right. it's a really cool business. Uh, we right. see all sorts of cool stories from what we do. Right. Right. Well, that's interesting. So so that's actually one route to. Uh, if you have a certain skill set and you see the potential in someone's in, in one of the businesses that yeah. you guys are selling, uh -huh. you can get started that way. Uh, uh, I don't know if you. Is that, is that a, is that a, like, I guess you would have to know a little bit about how can you, what's, what's the potential you see in that site and how can you improve on that before yeah. you move into something like that, right? Uh, so what I tell people is like, if you're a complete newbie, like you don't right. know how to set up hosting or WordPress right. or anything like that, like right. you might not want to buy a business just yet, at right. least like play around a little bit. Right. You don't have to have a successful business before you, you become a savvy investor or right. anything, but yeah. it does help, right? So if you see a business that uh, is obviously failing somewhere that you yeah. know how to fix, yeah. or you believe you can fix it, yeah. then that is often a good opportunity. A good example of this is like sellers, they'll often try to tell you their business is the best thing in the world, right. which is a bad sales tactic on their part. Right. Said they should tell you what's wrong with the business right. because right. the things that was wrong with the business is usually the opportunity for the buyer. Uh, so exactly. right. uh, like, yeah. You know, maybe you're running bad Facebook ads, and right. that buyer is really good with Facebook ads. Like, wow, this guy's missing the boat. This right. is a great purchase for me. Right. You know, stuff like that. Yeah. So, what kind of, of, of sites are typically available uh, to be sold at your marketplace? Yeah, so we so sell all sorts of online businesses. If you're just getting started, like right. if you're a newbie, I highly recommend right. uh, like an Amazon affiliate site. Right. So, because those are pretty hands off, and there's not a lot that 
can go wrong. If like say you're busy with work, you don't touch the site for two weeks, right. usually it's still going to be all right. You're like right. you're not processing orders or anything like that. It's right. just an affiliate site. Yeah. Now, if you want uh, more hands-on experience, we have e-commerce stores uh, from drop shipping to Amazon FBA to you know a fully source e-commerce store. Right. We also sell apps every now and then and SaaSs too. So right. SaaS would be on the uh, on the extreme end if you're a newbie, you probably shouldn't touch a SaaS. Yet. So, <laughs> tell the tell of your what, what what is the SaaS? It's yeah. Like, yeah. So the SaaS is a software as a service. Right. So um, if you're familiar with like any kind of marketing automation, usually those are SaaSes, like HubSpot, for right. example, would be a SaaS, right? right? You pay a monthly fee for this software right. and they're great businesses, but they're also complex. So right. it's yeah. not yeah. exactly newbie friendly. But, yeah. Cool. So, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm interested in hearing like you, you've been around in the in the community for a while yeah. and, and uh, I'm sure like Empire Flippers is, is, is I, I, I see you guys a lot of places in your logo and also I was curious from your perspective, like um, other types of skills that people have that they might not know they could use to work independently. Maybe their goal isn't to build up a business and sell mm -hmm. it, but just, you know, so what, what if, I, if I was a copywriter, for instance, what, what, would the, what would possible avenues be to become a location independent? I think? Yeah, co I mean, copywriting is an extremely valuable skill. Right. Uh, like almost every like from my perspective you're like right. looking at buying a business and your skill set is copywriting like right. almost all of the businesses right. have bad copyright because right. <laughs> right. like they're, right. the entrepreneur isn't yeah. a copywriter yeah. he's doing like a ton of different things right. uh so like right there that's often an improvement like right. um conversion rate optimization we have right. people that will buy sites do cro and they'll often see 15 to 20 percent lift in the revenue right. but if you're just getting started as a copywriter right. though uh, I, I got started as a writer, right, so that's right, like right. how I got into all of this. Right. Like, if you're looking at a job, like you right. say you're a freelancer on Upwork or something like that, right. and they say I want a VSL, and you have no idea what a VSL is, like oh right. I can't I can't take this job. Right. Just do a Google search real quick, like right. what is a VSL, how to write a VSL, yeah. and then like take those best practices and apply for that job. Right. It's very likely you'll get the job, or much more likely. Uh, and that's all, sometimes all it takes, right. you know, to get started just doing a bit of a Google right, search, like, right. how do I do this? Yeah, that's <laughs> what I've talked to other people as well who say, you know, no matter what skill you have, there might be an option for you if you want to get out of the commute and the 9 to 5. Right. There are ways of transitioning your skills into something that can be location independent. Right? For, uh, one uh, example of that, so a lot of people, they're like, well, I don't have any skills in marketing, and that kind of sets people back. But right, it's, right, it's exactly. not the only yeah. skill you need. For, right. for example, we had this guy, uh, he's a corporate banker kind of guy. He right. uh, bought a drop shipping site for 25K from us about two and a half years ago. Right. And the guy understood a lot of the nuances of business, right? Because right. he's been doing it for decades in the right. corporate world. Right. And so he bought this uh, little digital nomad, it's e commerce site right. and now is doing 30k a month like right. two years right. later and like he it's so like literally in one month it earns right. more than what he bought the business right. for <laughs> so like uh, and his skill set was uh understanding finances right. understanding logistics understanding business connections and how those work like right. so you can translate a lot of uh what you a lot of people consider non-traditional digital right. nomad skills yeah. Yeah. into this kind of lifestyle you know and a lot of times <laughs> that skill set is even more valuable if for you want sure. to go yeah. big so yeah. Yeah. All right, so, so you've been, three years you've been uh, uh, working remotely now? I've or? been uh, almost, uh, a little bit over two years, I'd right, say. Right, yeah, right, so right, about two years right, now. Yeah. Time flies, man. Right, right, right. <laughs> and you meet a lot of people, obviously, through here, and, and yeah. see a lot of what's going on in the, in the, in the community. Uh, how, how has it changed over the last, like, this is the fourth annual Nomad Summit here in Chiang Mai. Uh, and and how, how has it changed during the, those years, you know? So one thing that I think is pretty exciting is a lot of digital nomads are doing what I call growing up. So they're, uh, you know, they, a lot of these businesses, they started off as like, you know, I just want to make three grand per month and go right. to Pattaya and live on the beaches and drink coconuts all day. We call them coconut cowboys, well, you know. Doesn't sound too bad that yeah, either. No, right. it sounds great, right? Right. right? But a lot of those people, they're like, oh man, you know, once they reach it, they're like, because entrepreneurs were creators, right? right. We right. love right. creating things, right. doing new things. Right. like. So you built your business to a point where you don't have to do anything, but yeah. a lot of these people end up like, no, I'm going to do something even better. I'm going right. to build something even bigger. Yeah. And so now we're seeing a lot of these uh, uh, digital nomads that were the coconut cowboys now like building out like huge teams, like doing all sorts of interesting things in the community. Uh, you know, uh, one of my friends, he ran a conference here uh, not too long ago, 500 people, like, right. Right. you know, just 
trying out all sorts of new fun things. So we're right. seeing like a lot of these businesses or these entrepreneurs take on bigger challenges. Right. And it's pretty fascinating to see like a digital nomad approach a more traditional business problem from our perspective, because right. it's just like uh, kind of breaks the mold. So it's kind of cool to see. Yeah, yeah. And it seems to be growing too. Uh, obviously, the yeah. more and more tools available so that people can work in teams online, whether or not they're entrepreneurs. Um, so there seems to be just more and more people, um, yeah, trying to become location independent, doing it, succeeding in it. And uh, speaking of that, like if you're an entrepreneur, you want to grow a team, and you're you know working online. Right. Don't get an office. <laughs> like right, yeah. you, you like what we do is we're uh, location independent after six months on the job. So like first six months, yeah, bring them out, work them side by okay, side. Right, right. So that way they grow faith in the company yeah. and all that stuff. They get inserted into your company culture. Yeah. But afterwards, make them location independent because most people, if they're serious about the job, they're going to be willing to work with right. you for at yeah. least six months because this is a career, right? It's yeah. not just a job. Yeah. And so that's a way to build really talented teams that are also really loyal to your company that are location independent and they get to do basically everything as an entrepreneur minus the stress. All right, brilliant. Well, thanks a lot for yeah. coming over and talking to us. Oh, we'll, we appreciate it. We'll, we'll see you guys around. We're going to be around uh, in other places as well. So yeah, we're looking you, forward to yeah. seeing you. Guys. If you come to Saigon, Vietnam, hit me up and uh, we'll do another interview. <laughs> and I hope you guys will follow us there as well. If we go to Saigon, if we go to Bali, if we go to Medellin, all these new hotspots that are, that are coming up or actually have been around for a while already. So follow uh, Beach City on Facebook.com slash Beach City Life and you'll find us on YouTube. Uh, just uh, search for Beach City. I'll see you. See you guys. <laughs>